I wanted to do a Christmas scent that wasn't really a traditional Christmas scent. And so I searched on Nature's Garden for a, a specific fragrance. And I found one that I really, really liked. And so today I will be making Wintery Candy Apple by Nature's, uh, Nature's Garden. It smells really good. It, uh, you can smell like the candy apple, but it also has like a really like fresh and it's, it's the perfect Christmassy scent to me, you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get soaping. I have added all of my kale and clay and colonial oatmeal already to my oils. I am soaping at, my lime water is at 95 and my oils are at 105. So let's go ahead and get this party started. I'm going to incorporate my oils into, excuse me, I'm going to incorporate my lye water into my oil. And I am using a straining solution because I, if anything did not get dissolved, um, which I do put bamboo soap in here, and um, as well as sugar and sea salts. Now, the sugar really makes the soap itself have lots of bubbles, okay? If you're wondering how to get your soap to have more bubbles, add sugar to the lye solution. So we're going to go ahead and emulsify this not to a thick trace, not even to a medium trace, just until it is emulsified and we're gonna go ahead and split the batches up. This particular soap is going to have a pipe top. Now, um, I made ahead of time these really cute candy apple soaps to go on top of the bar and I'm trying to pick a really really cute one so here these are just melt and pour soap that I've colored um, with the vibrance green green vibrance mica from uh, nurture soap and really red mica from nurture soap so I did it so that it has like a dipped candy apple effect which I thought was really really cute Alright, so my liquid and lye water is fully emulsified. I'm going to go ahead and split this batch to um, my accent colors. And my accent colors, it's going to be green and red. And my base is going to be a white or a creamy white. It really depends on how well this um, fragrance oil does. These are not even. I want to go ahead and even my batch as much as possible. So I'm going to pour a little bit more of the green in here. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and add my colors to it now. So I'm going to put this aside for now. And we're just going to focus on these two colors. to it, it might not give me a true white. 
what I'm looking for. So I'm going to see how, how white this gets before I decide if I need to add it any more. Okay, that's a creamy white. And again, I said I wanted a really white. So I'm going to add just a little bit more of titanium dioxide. I'm going to put it in here and put a little oil on it because I ran out of my titanium dioxide that had the, um, that was water-based. So, all right. Hey everyone, welcome back and <clears throat> I am about to pipe the top on my wintry candy apple. My piping has set up quite nicely, Ooh. at least I thought it did. So we are going to see how this goes.
gonna just go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit of this colored um, sea salt on the top. I think it looks very festive. Not a lot, just a little. Just to give it a little bit more visual interest. 